This is a video demo showing how to assess the anatomical structures on anterior and posterior aspects around shoulder region by palpation. The demo is on right shoulder. Let's start from the sternoclavicular joint. If your patient has an issue at the joint, your patient feels localized pain at the joint when being palpated. If your patient reports any pain or discomfort at the joint with palpation, you may need to perform a further assessment. From the sternoclavicular joint, move laterally to palpate the whole clavicle. The clavicle is the most commonly fractured bone in body, and 80% of the clavicle fracture is on the middle one-third. Thoroughly palpate the clavicle if there is any deformity from the previous injury-like fracture. After passing the distal end of clavicle, palpate the acromioclavicular joint. If your patient feel local pain at the joint, it indicates acromioclavicular pathology, instability of distal clavicle or AC separation. From acromion, move inferiorly to palpate the greater tubercle. Your patient may feel pain, which indicates rotator cuff tendonitis, rotator cuff tear, or fracture. From the greater tubercle, move medially onto the tendon of long head of biceps. Pain on the tendon indicates biceps tendonitis from the bicipital groove. Move medially onto the lesser tubercle to palpate the subscapular tendon. If there is any pain, it indicates tendonitis, sprain or bursitis. Now, you are going to palpate the tendon in musculotendinous junction of the supraspinatus muscle. The tendon of supraspinatus muscle is not accessible on everyone. But when you try to palpate it, you need to put your patient into the position that you may be able to feel it. Have your patient's arm rest behind the back with medially rotated shoulder. You may need to pull the arm inferiorly to expose more of the tendon. And palpate the tendon by moving inferiorly from the anterior aspect of that chromion. Press firm through the deltoid fibers and roll your finger across the tail of the tendon where is attached onto the superior facet of greater tubercle. If your patient feels pain, it indicates supraspinatus tendonitis or tear or bursitis. To palpate the musculotendinous junction of the supraspinatus muscle, have your patient's arm in 80 to 90 degree abduction. Find the notch formed by the acromion and spine of the scapula with the clavicle and move medial edge of the notch and press firm through the trapezius. Then you are on the musculotendinous junction of the supraspinatus muscle. Your patient may feel pain or tenderness if there is any issue on the supraspinatus muscle. Move on to the posterior aspect of shoulder region. First, start palpating from upper trapezius. It is common site of pain and tension. And palpate along the spine of scapula and see if there is any muscle wasting on supraspinatus and infraspinatus. The spine of scapula is more prominent if there is suprascapular nerve palsy. Also palpate the rotator cuff muscles to see any tenderness on it. And palpate along the spinous processes of cervical and thoracic spine to see any pain or misalignment. This is it for palpation of anterior and posterior structures at shoulder region to assess any abnormality. Thank you for watching.